Hi, I'm Nicole Schwabach. I'm a machine operator at Sargento. I love working here and have been here for 13 years. I enjoy this job because of the pay and the benefits. At Sargento, we make cheese easier to eat by shredding it, slicing it, and dicing it. Our production lines are state-of-the-art using robotics and a lot of math to make things run smoothly. As part of monitoring the performance on our lines, we use digital displays to provide real-time feedback to employees on how efficiently a line is running. These lines are kind of like a speedometer on a car letting us know how fast or slow we're running. It is really important to hit right speeds. Great performance helps us reduce our costs and produce the best products. So let's take a look at the board to see what we're talking about. One data point we watch very closely is how often a line goes down, which we call downtime. We try to minimize downtime events on a line as much as possible. We can use downtime to calculate how our lines are performing. First, we calculate a line's availability, which is the percentage showing the amount of time that a line is actually running within a specific time frame. This is the formula calculating availability. To see how efficient a line is running is called performance. To calculate performance, we divide the run rate of the line by the fastest speed possible for that product on the line called the max key rate. From the display above, we see that the line has two hours and 34 minutes of downtime for the current production order. That order has run time for six hours and 20 minutes to this point. Also, the line is running at 156 packages per minute, but has a max T of 224 packages per minute. Based on the downtime that has occurred and the runtime, what is the current availability for the line? Based on the run rate and max T, what is the current performance of the line? If you calculated 59.47% availability, you're correct. This means that the line was running about 60% of the time. The performance of the line is calculated at 69.64%, which is not ideal. We would like performance to be around 95 to 100%. Hi, my name is Nick Adkins and I work at Sargento. I'm a team lead and I've worked here for eight years. I really love working at Sargento because I work with a great group of people and the company has provided me a lot of personal development and growth opportunities. Another piece of data we watch close is what we call overpack. Said another way, that is the amount of cheese we put into the package that is above the weight that is displayed on the package. To calculate overpack, the formula looks like this. From the digital display, we see that the line was averaging a 0.95% overpack for the current production order. The average case weighs two pounds. If the production order was set to produce 6,000 cases, how many pounds of overpack would occur if the line continued to produce at the current overpack rate? As the calculation shows, we would anticipate about 114 pounds of overpack for the entire order. Another thing we monitor is quality, which is a calculation of the number of packages of cheese that make it into a finished case versus the total number of packages produced. That formula looks like this. From the digital display, we see that the line was averaging 98.5% quality for the current production order. If the production order was set to produce 6,000 cases and there are four packages per case, how many packages did not make it into the finished case if the line continued to produce at the current overpack rate? As the calculation shows, we would anticipate 365 packets not making it into the finished case. Using several of the metrics that we calculated already, we can calculate an overall equipment effectiveness, or what we call OEE. OEE is a measurement that shows us how well equipment is running. For most lines, we want to achieve an OEE greater than 80%. The formula looks like this. OEE equals the availability times performance times quality. Using the digital screen, what is the projected OEE for the production order? If you calculated 40.79%, you're correct. 
As you can see, the OEE is low for this order, so let's look at how we can improve that. Now let's bring it all together. That's a lot of numbers, but these numbers also impact money. So let's think about the cost impacts of these calculations. For this example, let's assume the following. Use your previous calculations to determine the cost impacts related to downtime for an eight hour shift, the overpack cost for the order, and the quality cost be for the order. Given those calculations for this production run, which parameter has the biggest cost impact that we would want to address? Let's break it down. The downtime calculated is $609.68, while the overpack cost was $285 and the quality cost was $36.50. Given the cost impacts to the company, which would you want to address to create the biggest impact? If you choose downtime, you did very good. Downtime has a significant cost impact to any company. We try our best to make sure our lines are running. If you want to see more of what we do, sign up for the career experience at the website and follow us on Instagram. Thanks for watching.